Hello everyone, this is Ari from Tech with King, and in this video, I'm going to show how you can install and run Slitas Core Rolling OS in your Android using Limbo PC Emulator. So, without any wasting of time, so let's get started. So, first of all, you have to download an application called Limbo PC Emulator. There are a lot of videos on my channel that uh, how you can uh, run any ISO or os in your android using this uh, emulator limbo emulator the download link in the description and the second thing you have to download this uh, sleet as rolling ios so this is this Lee sleet as uh, linux and it will approx 53 mb the download link in the description you can check out the download from them so first of all you have to open the limbo pc emulator so this is the interface let me just click on and just click to new and give this uh, I'm giving this as Linux one. You can give any name, split as OS. So this is the very basic version of Linux and very and it will be in 15 50 MB. So it will going to run very fast and quick in Android. Slit as OS. So you have to get into the user interface and just click to VNC and just click to SDL. And you have to get into cpn board you have to make sure you have uh, select the architecture 64 so in this os it will going to select the 64 bit oil uh, processor now come come u64 the processor cpu model and the cp cores i'm going to select four the cp cores and the ram it will be depend on your smartphone specifications you can select uh, i'm going to select 700 704 mb ram so ram will be depend on your smartphone specifications so i have 6 gb ram in my android but uh, only 1500 mb left so it will perfectly work with 700 mb if the ram have taken lot of ram example i have 1500 mb but i have selected more than 1500 mb the limbo pc i automatically shut down so it will uh, require the rom ram so just close it and you have to get into the removal and just click to cd-rom just click to none click to open now you have to get to where you have downloaded this lit as rolling os so this is my download folder i'm just click to select and boot you have to select cd-rom graphics you have to select vmware so vmware uh, graphics network you have to just learn and get on the advanced and just click to high priority so you have done the all the settings so i'm just uh, going to uh, turn on the rotation and turn my phone so let me just set up my android so just now i have uh, then this screen now i'm going to just click to play button so after clicking play it will so as you can see the os has been started just click, click to keyboard and just click to enter so it will going to select the english us language you can change the language according to you and it will going and it will say boot hit return to continue so just click to enter and again it will going to ask so just you have to click enter enter on the next screen so now it will the booting screen as you can see it will taking some time to boot i don't know but it will taking a lot of time to boot this os this is very basic and small os but take a lot of time to boot but after booting it will uh, load very quick and fast it will running very uh, fast and quick so let me just uh, fast forward this video from here and come back after it's fully loaded
so finally after taking about 10 to 15 minutes the Sleazen OS Linux successfully loaded in my Android so as you can see so this is basically totally Linux so for the volume buttons you can uh, right click or left click so as you can see the menu so this is the menu there are a lot of uh, features in this Slitas OS so as you can see there are a lot of preloaded uh, softwares file manager so let me just open the file manager so here is the application so as you can see this is the file manager of this linux so on the top left corner it has menu star start menu button application with the name of application you just click now that and they have lot of uh, uh, preloaded softwares and features accessories burn dvd calculator grab screenshot leaf pad so now the next uh, development code editor dialog example icon browser documentation games it's have preloaded games so as you can see there are a lot of preloaded games here so this is the graphics means photo or video editor internet it's have a lot of preloaded uh, uh, browsers midori twitter microblogging so these are the linux browsers multimedia video player office preference system tool so let me just open this XTERM terminal so the Linux is basically used for coding and hacking so let's see if the terminals work or not so as you can see this is the XTERM terminal So as you can see if you know the commands of this x uh, sleaze and terminals uh, you can type here it will working so as you can see i have typed disk part that's not found so disk part is basically for windows command if you know the linux commands you can type here and it will going to perfectly work here i have not enabled the internet but uh, you can enable the internet connection it's maybe your wi-fi wi or mobile data so it will work with you so uh, you can also connect with the internet so it will have at the beside of the us uh, it will sh showing that there is no internet connection to this pc no network connection so if you connected uh, with the internet connection you can access the browser and you can do a lot of things in this uh, slith as os so as you can see in the screen this is the slith as linux os perfectly running in android so that's it for this video thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel like this video share this video if you're getting any problem while running this lit as OS in your android let me know in the comments i'll try my best to fix your problem and if you want me to make this video on this topic let me know in the comments i try to make that video thank you